This video will cover the topic, solving a multi-step equation involving a single logarithm. Problem type 2. Before we begin to solve problems of this type, it's important to remember how to express a logarithmic equation in exponential form. If we have a base b logarithm of y equal to x, it could be rewritten in exponential form as b to the x power equal to y. This relationship between logarithmic and exponential equations will allow us to reorganize our logarithmic equation into an exponential equation so that we can solve for unknown variables. Okay, I think I understand what you're saying. Can we try to practice problem? Yeah, definitely. In this problem, we are asked to solve for x in 4 plus the base 3 logarithm of negative 2x equal to 5. I'll put up the logarithm and exponent relationship that I outlined previously on this page too. How do we begin to solve this problem? The first step is to isolate our logarithm to one side of the equation. We can do so by subtracting 4 from both sides of the equation. Our next step is to now take the logarithmic equation and express it in exponential form. Doing so, our equation will now look like this. Oh, I see. By expressing the logarithmic equation in exponential form, we have taken x out of the logarithm, allowing us to use algebraic manipulation to solve for x. Exactly. Solving for x in our problem, we find that it is equal to negative 3 over 2. Would you like to try the next problem? Sure. In this problem, we are asked to solve for x in 4 times the base 5 logarithm of x plus 2 equal to 8. So our first step is to isolate the logarithm, and we can do so by dividing both sides of the equation by 4. We now want to express our logarithmic equation in exponential form. Doing so, it will now look like this. Our final step is to solve for x, and doing so, we find that it is equal to 23. That's right. So to solve a multi-step equation involving a single logarithm, it is important to know how to express a logarithmic equation in exponential form. Doing so will allow us to solve for unknown variables in the problem. That all sounded right. You understand this topic so well, you should be the teacher. <laughs>